I've had the opportunity to visit many different communities, communities that have all the amenities in the world that you can think of and communities that don't. And when you come across communities that don't, you kind of go, what can I do to help? If you build a global network, if you provide global service, you can start to bring people closer, get them more information, impact their lives in a positive way. That's why I'm here on Kuiper. What Amazon is committed to do with the $10 billion board commitment to build the Constellation and the commercial communication network they want to build in space with the 3,236 satellites uh, will bring broadband to any point of the planet. We're all depending on connectivity to go to school, to perform our jobs, but not everybody has it, including people in communities just around the corner from us. If there's no cellular phone infrastructure, Kuiper can provide a connection to, let's say, uh, an ambulance that's transporting somebody with a severe medical condition and keep that ambulance and the doctor connected to someone at the hospital. We can enable tens of millions of people to have internet that couldn't have it before. And that, to me, is a big deal. There's very few initi initiatives I can think about that has uh, such, a, such a major impact in a global scale. Now is the time to bridge the digital divide. As we've seen throughout the course of the pandemic, people's lives were changed radically. But the difference in how those lives changed, the way people were able to mitigate those impacts, it just looked vastly different for those who had connectivity and those who didn't. People are very motivated to make this grand system become uh, a reality, I mean, come to fruition. You know, when I do things in terms of career, I wanted it to be meaningful, not just earn a paycheck, but do something that is gonna change the world. People are very inspired by the mission of Kuiper and the innovation of create technology that hasn't been created yet and be able to do it in mass. It's rare in your career that you have an opportunity to work on a business that is both good for society and is also a very good business. And the reality is that Kuiper is both of those things. A lot of the culture is, uh, is a result of having a number of people leading this organization that I consider to be not just sensational technologists and leaders, but also really high ethics. I'm super excited as we move forward in how we will hire new leaders, new leaders and teammates who will help us build out all the pieces that we will need to be able to operate as a global service. Kuiper is full of a lot of talented individuals trying to do a really good job. And I really enjoy working with people and, and help them become better players. We want you to be really quite brave. And we're looking for some bit of crazy initiative. I'm thinking about who I want and the type of people that I want on my team. To be quite blunt, I'm looking for rock stars. It is ambitious. It's a, it's a complex and difficult program uh, to actually deliver on. And the fact that we get to see all the phases of development from startup to interim, what I call kind of escape velocity to kind of process oriented development is amazing. This is a really important job but it's also gonna be the most amazing thing we've ever accomplished, and it's gonna be worth all the hard work. You know, I'd love to take all the credit for Kuiper, but I'd be foolish. Kuiper is because of the team we have.